Hi everyone, it's Samantha and um, my last, this is a piggyback post off of my last post talking about how I was able to get capital to start a business, run a business while being a single mom of two kids um, and my credit card strategies that most people would say, oh, no credit cards, credit card debt is bad debt, blah, 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 which it is, um, but gotta get what you gotta get get it with what you have or what you have access to so this is a piggyback post off of um off of the different strategies i took after um acquiring the credit card debt and using the credit card debt to um fund my lifestyle which was very very cheap um but taking care of two kids is not easy um with to fund my lifestyle with credit cards until the business was able to you know, get me to the point where I can finally pay them off four years later after the business was started. Okay, so after sitting on that much debt for such a long period of time and making the monthly payments on it, which um, I would probably run, I would say probably max $2,000 a month just in paying the minimum payments, which means the interest got racked on top, which means... I didn't get anywhere for a long time. Um, getting rid of is the, the reason why credit card debt is so difficult is because you have ten thousand dollars in cash and you have a ten thousand dollar credit card debt and you pay it off and that's it. <laughs> you don't have anything to show for it. It's, you're not paying for an asset. You're just paying to not pay more interest. And um, so during this four years of carrying that debt, there were times that I could have paid it and I chose to do other things with the money um like buy another asset and hand over foot anytime if I would have to go back and do it again I would do the same exact thing that I did so I will tell you about so four years in I'm now four years into my business being in Pennsylvania um but two years in I purchased a house um, with a mortgage because um, I needed to, my sons were starting school and I was in a very bad school district. Well, I wouldn't say very bad, but um, I wanted a better school district for my kids. So um, I purchased a house. So I saved to purchase a, a house, get another mortgage instead of, in lieu of paying the credit cards. Um, because the, them going to school in a better school district was more important. Um, then the year after that, um, I had enough money to, um, I probably could have paid them off in three months. But what I did instead was purchase another investment property, um, which is an income producing, you know, investment property paid for cash instead of paying my cards off. So, that was, I want to say, I think everything was said and done October of last year. Yeah, so it's now, what, June 2021. Um, and now I'll be able to pay my cards off. And it was all a strategy because um, I have two properties, cash, clear, um, so I can be R, R, R them. Um, and I've been waiting to be R, R, R them so that I can, um, well, look for a commercial property. I also was waiting to be RR them after I paid off the cards because then I will have an immense amount of cash flow with absolutely no debt. And um, the other business owns the two properties, so it will be able to pull out um, capital against those properties to purchase other properties and then I could probably purchase a commercial property in either my own name or um, the other business name so paying off the cards early I probably wouldn't have two more properties that are cash flowing or will be cash flowing so if you have the opportunity to purchase a income producing asset over paying off your cards, knowing that eventually you will get the cards paid off, um, I suggest to buy the income producing asset. Um, 
and at that point honestly i was pay i was so used to making sure i made the minimum payments on all the cards that it didn't really make a difference that i didn't pay that it, you know not having to pay it um now not having to pay it now it's definitely going to make a difference in my life because I'm so used to having to pay for it. Um, and like I said, when you have so much, when you have high amounts of debt like that, that are at very high interest rates, because I carried them for a long time. I mean, my boys are now six and seven years old. Um, it does, it, I mean, okay, you can throw an extra hundred dollars on it. The hundred really doesn't make that much of a dent. So honestly, I just wanted to get to the point where I can be like, okay thousands of dollars can just get put on it that way it would really make a significant change for the next month so I, i'm and i'm very frugal like i will make money and invest it right back into my company or right back into the um, real estate market so it's not like i use the cards to go buy gucci belts and stuff like that i said that before but they literally funded you know utility bills and um paying for diapers and stuff like that for my kids because i mean child care is not cheap at all like at all like both of my kids now go to school starting in this year august of 2020 this is my first year of both my kids are going to school which means i didn't have to pay for daycare I actually had to pay for after school program which is just as much money um but i only did it for a month because i pay employees so why would i pay for daycare when i have employees and i just don't work basically um so it can be done um you just have to use the assets or the you know the access to the capital that you have and make very smart financial decisions when you're in such a point of pressure like that you actually find out a lot of information you learn a lot about taxes and um businesses and what's going to be a long haul game instead of you know buying Gucci parts, Gucci best with credit cards. Okay. So check out my last post about how I did get access to the credit cards. Um, and I'm all about playing the long game. So my business does actually have cards and it has cards since I've opened and the cards, um, yeah, they're probably the only thing that's kind of report all the business has everything in its name, like as far as like the utilities and stuff like that, but it's reporting. So my business credit is just as good as my personal credit. And I'll be able to borrow for access to cheaper capital 